Hello and welcome to another video by The Bearded Tech Guy. In this getting to know Webcore video, we will be going over how to set up a piston to mimic a four-way light switch installation, taking advantage of Z-Wave Plus smart switches that support multi-tap functionality when all lights are installed as standalone light switches. In my kitchen, I have four separate light switches that control four different groups of lighting that are all standalone. This means that if I want multiple lights on in my kitchen, I have to go all over the place to turn on the lights and then go all over the place again to turn them off when I'm done. While this only takes a few seconds to do, having to do it several times a day for the rest of my life didn't really sound all that efficient to me. In a standard 4-way switch setup, you will have 3 or more switches wired in a way that allows for any one switch to turn on or off one or more things. You'll typically see these in kitchens, finished basements, or other larger areas that have multiple entry points. An option would have been to pay for an electrician to wire everything up and install new light switches to have this ability, but it would have been costly and I wouldn't have had smart light switches then. With the decision made, I went ahead and replaced my old toggle switches with GE Z-Wave Plus paddle switches that support double tap. While the double tap feature isn't necessarily needed for this to work, it does add an extra layer of automation that I will be covering once we make the piston. I'll have a link in the description below for the light switches I used in this video. For this piston, I will be leaving the normal function of the light switches alone. This means if I turn a light on, only that light turns on and the same will happen if I turn it off. Instead, I will be using the double tap feature of the GE switch to activate the automations. For this, double tapping the top button will turn on all the lights in the kitchen, while double tapping the bottom button will turn off all the lights in the kitchen. The exception is for my kitchen table light. The light switch for the table light will turn on or off all the lights in the kitchen if double tapped, but the other light switches will not turn on the table light. They will only turn off the table light if it's already on when double tapped. This was more so a personal preference after having the piston up for a few weeks. I found that if I wanted all the lights on in the kitchen, I was rarely at the table and having the light on was wasteful. To get started, open up the WebCore dashboard and create a new piston. Then click on add a new statement. From here select add an if. And on the next screen click on add a condition. Next select all the light switches you want to be used for this. For me I will be selecting all of the light switches in my kitchen except for the table light switch. Once all the switches are selected, click on the drop down menu next to them and select button. Next select the button you want to be pushed. For my switches, the top button being double tapped is button number 1, so I will select that. For the comparison, select Gets, and make sure Compared To is set to Pushed. Once all done, click on Add. Next click on Add a new statement under Then. On the new window that opens, click on Add an Action. And then select all the light switches you want to be turned on. Again, for me I will not be having my table light turn on under this if block. Once all your lights are selected, click on Add a Task. On the new window that opens up, select Turn On, and then click on Add. We now have our first if block, which will turn on all the kitchen lights except for the table light if any of the non-table light switches have their top button double tapped. The next if block we will be making is for if any of the non-table light switches have their bottom button double tapped. This if block will be basically the same as the first one, so I will not be going over it fully, but if you want to follow along, feel free to slow down the video or pause as needed. The only difference between this if block and the previous if block is the button number will be 2 instead of 1, and the action for the then will be to turn off instead of on. For my use case, I will also be including the table light in the list of lights that are turned off. This is a personal preference for how I like my lights to function. Next up will be to make two if blocks for the table light switch. The first will be for the top button being double pressed, and the second will be for the bottom button being double pressed. These two if statements will be very similar to the first two we made as well. I'll also not be going over these two if statements in their entirety, but I will cover their differences and I recommend slowing the video down or pausing as needed if you're following along. The first if block will be for if the table light switch's top button is double pressed. This again will be for button number one, but instead of multiple light switches it will be only for the switch in this section. For this if block, our then action will be to turn on all the lights in the kitchen including the table light. The last if block will be for if the table light switch's bottom button is double pressed. This if statement will be like the one we just made, but instead of button number one being pushed, it will be for button number two, and the then action will be for all the lights in the kitchen turning off. One thing I would like to mention is that this if block is technically not needed. I could have just included the table light switch in the previous if block for turning off all the lights, but I wanted it to be separate just in case I wanted to do more with it in the future. Now that we have our four if blocks, let's save the piston and test it out. First let's test out the individual lights to make sure they work standalone. As can be seen, pushing either button on any of the light switches will turn on the corresponding light. 
This is exactly how it would normally operate if I didn't set up this automation. Let's now test the table light switch. If you recall, double tapping the top button will turn on all the kitchen lights. Great, the table light switch turns on all the lights when the top button is double pressed and turns off all the lights when the bottom button is double pressed. Let's test out a few of the other light switches. As can be seen, the different switches will turn on or off all of the kitchen lights except for the table light. This piston will also turn off lights even if you turn on all or some of them individually, which can be really helpful. I think this piston is one of my all-time favorite home automations. It's super simple to set up, it's easy to learn how to use, it saves time, which provides a real-world benefit, and it saves money as I don't have to have my entire kitchen rewired. I would love to know what home automations you have set up in your smart home, so let me know in the comments below. Or if you run into any trouble setting this automation up, don't hesitate to ask. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps out the channel immensely. Thank you for watching.